Hi, it's me again, Sarah. If you're new, um, my name's Sarah Martino. I go to the University of Arizona and um, I'm vegan. I love doing musical theater, have an amazing boyfriend, and studying to be a special ed teacher. Um, so today I wanted to talk about these things called microplastics. And I'm going to look down at this paper a lot because I wrote down <laughs> bunch of facts for you guys because I really wanted to educate. Um, so microplastics, what are they? And now this is a definition that I found and they're plastics that are less than five millimeters in size found in basically, basically everything. They have a huge list of a bunch of stuff. Um, but think of in elementary school and your ruler there was like inches on one side and centimeters on the other. Now halfway through a centimeter, so half of a centimeter and smaller is what microplastics are. And these microplastics are able to go through filters and water filters and into your water. So they are not like filterable. Like you're not able to like not get them in your water unless you're filtering the water at a micro level, which, or smaller than micro level, which most water plants, I think almost all water plants and water treatment plants don't. And also that Brita filter you're using definitely doesn't. Um, so um, the main thing that we do to contribute to microplastics that go into our environment and that we put in our bodies is our beauty and hair care and skin care and um, cleaning supplies. Like, kind of surprised to hear that cleaning supplies did that because that dishwashing, you could be washing it with microplastics if you're not using natural stuff. Um, but yeah, that's the main thing that we do. And where are they? Where are they going? Why is this an important thing? <laughs> um, they're literally everywhere. So they're in a bunch of different products. They are able to be like get out of um, like the bottles that we use, like water bottles, microplastics form from that when they're starting to biodegrade. Um, or if you leave them in your car for too long and they go into our oceans and into our lakes, like specifically the United in the United States, our Great Lakes, which is not good <laughs> because a lot of the water that northeast 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 uses is from the Great Lakes, and then also like um, the ocean where we get all of our fish, um, <laughs> where all of our ox a lot of our oxygen comes from, where literally life starts. Um, so this is really bad. And, uh, this fact that I kept finding in the, like, five different, like, dot org and college, like, essay articles and stuff that I was finding is that about 80 to 83 percent of tested tap water in the world, 83 percent of the tested tap water in the world, they were finding it polluted with microplastics. So, if you drink tap water, you might be drinking microplastics. Not good. <laughs> um, and these are very harmful. Inside, what make up microplastics are like the three main things that you might find in ingredients on your products um, that are microplastics are silicones, phthalates, and polyethylene. Um, they're all gross. <laughs> like, they're not good for you at all. Um, besides, like, being harmful towards the ocean and our environment and affecting us in that way, they affect us by us ha having them put directly on our skin, in our hair, in our scalp, um, under those eyes. If you do, or if you're, if you're having age lines <laughs> or fine lines now, or even smile lines and you're using like anti-aging cream and stuff. 
you're putting that in your face too if you're not using natural products. So how are they harmful? Silicones are harmful. They're found in hair products and shampoo and from like all hair products, um, some nail polishes, and they're in hair products from shampoo to shine mists. Like you can find them in varieties like ha hair masks that aren't natural, um, like the curl, like the curly, like the curly sprays or the texture sprays or like sculpting taffy that's not natural. A lot of it has silicones in it. And um, what that does, like, you're like, oh, but my hair is shiny and it looks nice. It looks nice because it, the plastic, the microplastics getting into the pores of your hair. I don't know why, like I'm touching my hair <laughs> thinking that you could see my pores, but it's getting into the pores of your hair and then the light is reflecting off of the plastic, not your hair just actually shining naturally. So think about that. Um, and then ph ph phthalates, if that's how you pronounce it, P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E-S. Um, these are found in air hairsprays, aerosols, and nail polish. And these and some silicones are most known for being endocrine, bro endocrine blockers. And endocrine block wow. Endocrine blockers are the same thing as hormone blockers. Your endocrine system is what regulates all the hormones in your body. And when you're washing your hair, which, a or putting hairspray in your hair, anything that goes in your hair, your hair is directly attached to your scalp and that's where your hair gets a lot of nutrients and how it can stays hydrated most of the time. So everything is going back and forth. So you're spraying hairspray to maybe keep those frizzies down or you're spraying like a shine thing or dry shampoo in your hair and like to get that grease out of there after you just worked out or something. That's going into your hair and into your scalp. Your scalp has a bunch of pores and a bunch of little capillaries which are like kind of like miniature veins and then you're getting that in your bloodstream and then that is how they become endocrine blockers um or endocrine disruptors is another name for them and they kind of disrupt everything that goes with your hormones so if <laughs> they can cause fertility problems if you're if you are in transition or if you're a guy, um, or a guy in transition, or a guy just wanting to up their testosterone for like uh, health purposes or weightlifting purposes, or if you're trying to transition, that is going to hurt um, your ability to be able to up that or be able to have the hormone fertility problems, like. That can be hurting that, it's blocking things like that. And then they can also cause uh, hormone-related cancers, which is no bueno. And I really don't want anyone to have that just because of their lack of education on products. And this is why I'm making this video. Um, uh, the, next, um, the next thing, the, the next ingredient I mentioned, polyethylene. Polyethylene that's found in products are found in exfoliants, cleansers, and toothpastes. And they're just gross. They're really bad for you. They can cause damage to your skin and organs. So that exfoliant like face mask or scrub that you're using that isn't all natural or naturally based or vegan is actually damaging your skin. It fixes a problem, but then creates an even larger problem and again your whole body is connected and stuff going into your pores is going to end up in your bloodstream somehow and then end up in the rest of your organs and polyethylene is really bad for stuff like that and this one is mainly found in anti-wrinkle and anti-aging products and um so 
The statistic is that every time you use an anti-wrinkle cream or an anti-aging cream that isn't naturally based or all natural, 90,000 plastic, mi uh, 90, plastic particles go into your face. That's not good. <laughs> that is not good for you whatsoever. That's not even good for your skin. Like, oh, but my skin looks nice. It looks nice right now, but then when you actually do the hardcore aging bit, it's not gonna look nice or feel nice later and you're gonna have a lot of problems. Um, that, and then also, most of the ingredients that are in these products, like the the plastics, aren't tested. Like, a lot of them haven't been or they're just starting to be tested right now in, in our products. And another statistic that's kind of scary is that in the United States, only for hair care and beauty care, only 11 products are banned in like oh yeah 11 product, 11 ingredients are banned in the uk 1300 ingredients are banned so yeah um so watch what you're getting oh no okay <laughs> my phone went at low battery for a second but watch what you're getting um now how this harms our ocean microplastics from our products and the bottle products that are degrading that get into the ocean all contribute and go into our lakes and everything like that so it hurts our ocean by putting plastics in the ocean in our great lakes so now imagine that you're a fish fish have gills they do they swim and the water, how they breathe and get oxygen is through the water going through their gills and microplastics going through their gills. Now you're a fish, you get caught by a fisherman and you land on someone's plate. What are you eating now that they just had oxygen that has microplastics in it go into them? So, and also just terrible for the ecosystem. They found out that like, out of the plastic that they thought was in the ocean, microplastics contribute to 10 times more than that. So not good um, <laughs> at all. And it also just destroys um, the marine plant life and is not good for the animals in our ocean, which we need to survive. It's, our ecosystems are all connected and domino effects happen. You don't need that by contributing to plastics. Now, how our products can help and natural products can help. So they're natural. They don't have silicones. They don't have toxins or alcohols or parabens, um, sulfates. They're non-flammable. They're botanically based. They're vegan, cruelty-free, anti-aging products, both our hair and skincare. And you use so little that it's, you're gonna only need a bottle for a year. So less plastic in there, no plastic going down the drain when you wash your hair. Um, our packaging is all recyclable. Um, our, you wash your hair less, so that's less water that you're using. Um, yeah, that's... Buying natural products is like the way to go to be able to like have our hair and skincare save our oceans and save ourselves so really look into what products you're using i suggest the app think dirty because it will you just like scan your barcode with it and it will tell you but yes please look into your products because you could be adding to the detriment of our ocean plastic pollution and detriment to yourself so think about that clean living and think about what you want to put on your skin and your hair and into our water but yeah that is all. I hope y'all have a great night and yeah, take a gander at that.